Hello. There we go. We have sound. <laughs> How are we all doing? I'm all right. Good, good. How are you? I'm all right. I've had a bit of a crazy day at work. So I'm like, oh, <clears throat> it's fine. <laughs> and then I've had some crochet. But that always makes everyone feel better. It really does. Um, and I realised the light is not very good. So on, I'm trying to. I'm <laughs> going to try and do cocoa and black to finish large Martin bear. Um, which could be interesting. So, as in nose and eat, uh, nose and eyes. Yeah. He's like as big as my head. It's wow. Very cool. <laughs> He's gorgeous. <clears throat> and compared to his fine friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I love is that these, the double knit ones, they have the definition, they've got the texture. And then the bigger you go, they just get a bit more floppier. Like these ears, like there's no structure about the wool when it gets to this size. I feel it's lovely it is crazy uh the other one is finished but it's not sewn up it's kind of it's in pieces <laughs> so he's yeah he's not going to be finished tonight i thought oh that's fine i can sew him up <clears throat> while i chat and i can't so that will keep for, I'll do it tomorrow, I think. So I thought I would chat to you folks while I try and sew, oh, Kylie, uh, while I try and sew some features. Kylie, I think, did you, did you join as giant chunky Martin appeared? That's what I came to see. He's like as big as my, like, I think he's kind of like, he's a little bit smaller than Noah now, but he's not like that much smaller than the kids. He's amazing. So, so I came to see that. I'm not crocheting one myself. I'm cheating and I'm a complete, um, yeah, complete fraud in this group, but I'm, I'm here to support. So. There is no, there is no requirement to do a Martin bit. It's fine. <laughs> We can just sit and chat. Anyway, hi everyone. <clears throat> hi. I spent the weekend with Katie. Yeah, it was a big weekend. <laughs> we drank a little bit too much lager. <laughs> but if anyone needs, this is an absolutely not a sponsored video, but if anyone needs a brunch recommendation, electric shuffle in London, oh my God. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> we did shuffleboard. I'm not very good at it. And uh, we did pizza and prosecco and it was great. Lush. It was really good. So lush. Um, yes. Proper lush. Proper lush. <clears throat> Now, first problem, am I, I've only got three strands of black. <laughs> and if I'm doing super, if I'm doing chunky, I need four strands, don't I? Yeah. Is that how it grosses up? Is it two strands of double knit makes an arrow and then four make a chunky? Yeah. What are you trying to make? Uh, I'm doing the features on Giant Martin. Yeah. So I need... So you can up. wrap it a few more times, couldn't you? If you're just doing arms, yeah. you can just go around a few more times. 
I rapped more times when I did my chunky. Ah. Uh -huh. I was just like, I've got to try and work out whether I've got to put one of these in half and then try and right. I'll do that. <clears throat> Although I'm still not sure I've got enough to do. I don't know where my black. I've got black yarn somewhere, and I don't know where it is. I'm gonna see if I've got enough to do two eyes. This might not work. Plenty. I'm notoriously bad at judging yarn. Like I'll be making socks, and I've got like a ball of yarn left. I'm like, that's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna run out. Oh my god, I need more yarn. And then I get to the end, and I've still got like half of that ball left. I'm like, I don't know what I was worried about. I think I just struggle to think in 3D and I'll look at something and I'm like, yeah, that's not enough. That's not going to, no. And Mark's like, just, just carry on. Just, you'll be fine. And mostly it is fine. There are occasions when it's not. <clears throat> right. I'm not sure I should be doing this live. <laughs> live on camera. Watch me, watch how many times I rip out faces. <laughs> I've got the little double knit version for scale so that I can work out where to put them. Um, does everyone else, when you make a doll, rip out multiple times? That can't just be a me thing. It's not a you thing. Well, that didn't work because those threads aren't the same length. So that one's just, that one's just come out. <laughs> How many threads have you got there? Three. Okay, so just use one for each eye and just go like four or five times because oh. then you'll have enough for the two eyes. And then save the other thread for the mouth or the nose or whatever the other bit is. I only need that. that is, so. I've got plenty of that. That's co Coco for his nose. Okay, so just split the... Just do one strand each... Oh. For each eye, yeah, 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 and then just go a few times. People you're, are nodding, so I think I'm right. You're a maverick. I am maverick. You've seen me, right? You know me. Hello. <laughs> right. Okay. See, this is also where I'm very compliant. So if the pattern tells me to do X, that's what you're going to get. Like, there's no subtlety. If that's what you want, that's what you're getting. Right. <clears throat> so two wraps would usually be you go around the eye twice on a double knit. So that's then another two makes it Aaron. Two makes it tricky. This may be working. It may not be in the right place, but it may be working. Right, okay. This is why community support is good. <laughs> you're like, you're doing what? Why are you making it more difficult for yourself? <clears throat> right. After this, I'm going to sew some ends in on my M cal. Because I've inadvertently got a fringe on the bottom. Because... <laughs> I bought it to London, Katie. I was going to sew ends in while we were in the pub. Just keep, just add a fringe and keep them all. I hid, I totally did that on one of my shawls. I just left all the ends as they were and then added a fringe and you can't tell. Because mm, I'm not sure I'm going to do fringe on this. I'll do maverick. I, I don't even, yeah. Do you, babes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a fringe. I totally did a fringe on mine. It's I'm not sure. it if good. I don't if I don't do fringe, it'll be finished quicker. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but no, I'm not sure because Mark's got fringe on his, so I feel like this is the an this is the anti Mark shawl because I've okay. done it completely yeah. different. I've got Mo here. I've done crochet start. He's got a fringe, so I'm not going to have one. So I do need to sew the ends in. But I do if I'm going to be compliant. <clears throat> we'll see. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to MCAL though. Yes. 
I finished my geo gradient the other day. It's blocking upstairs on my son's bed while he's not here for a week. Yay! <laughs> it's the only place in the house that's big enough for me to spread it out. So I have to wait until he's not here so I can use his double bed to block it out on. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> They're lovely, but very impractical to wash and block. Very them. mindful, very cutesy. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I have, I'm upset. I have a cat as well, so I wouldn't oh, want to excellent. put it somewhere and have the cat laying on it. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the ends finished on this shawl, and then on the weekends, I'm going to swatch. Oh, no, see, that's something I don't do. I'm only swatching for <coughs> the colours because I want <coughs> to build. And I know I know you do lazy swatch. And in some I years... lazy I, swatch. But yeah. in some years, I usually do lazy swatch. Um, the only thing I'm going to actual swatch is because I want to see what the black is like. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm they were literally in a Stephen West... They were in one of the MCAL kits, like in one of the... <laughs> The lazy yeah, swatch. I want to. I want to say. So I feel like we have permission. Yeah, and that's fine. But if, <coughs> if I do that, my black's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to see how the black goes, am I? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about if I swatch. No, because you just do. You just do a couple of wraps of each color to see where you want to place them. Like I'm gonna. I I would do like a lazy. I've well, I've done it, but like. A, lay, a bit of black, a bit of white, and a bit of orange. We're going orange. And because the black was too simple. <laughs> so that's the easiest way to do it. I know, but I'm just figuring out. But if I knit the black, hang on, right. If I knit the black with the green, it's going to be like a Marley effect, isn't it? Yeah. But so then just if I don't swatch it properly, I'm not going to Wrap see them it. together. Just wrap them together. Uh... <laughs> Why are you making everything so difficult? <laughs> I've had a really bad day in work. I'm not sure I'm thinking. <laughs> We're here to support right now. <laughs> Start with, my name is my Martin. Right. We may have, or we have two eyes. The question is, are they right? So just to ask a question about blocking. Excuse my ignorance. So if you like you do a shawl and then you wash it and you block it. Yeah. If you have to wash it again after you, do you have to block it each time? Yes. Yeah. Technically, so. Right. No, yeah. It's not a silly question because <laughs> um I asked that question of Gemma <laughs> and at Unravel. Because oh, right, okay. I need to block this shawl, and there's a few of mine. I don't think this is a. <coughs> Most of my shawls have never been washed. I don't think that's like a dirty, like, right. like wearing dirty laundry. Um, I've never washed them, <coughs> and I kind of figured I'm gonna go through a bit of a blocking with my new one, and I've got some new massive blocking mats. They're like giant that I bought from B and Q. So I figured yeah. I might have a bit of a washing. Session. Well, they're, well, they're all all them all and give them all a wash. I've got new ukulele. Yeah. But I then okay. asked Gemma that question. Thank you. Can we pin it out. She said, "Yeah." <laughs> but I, I tend not to wash and just. Heck, <clears throat> yarn has the ability, generally merino especially, but yarn has the ability to, like, lose its smells over time. So you just hang it up in the air. Unless you've been wearing a really heavy perfume or, it's, you know, it's picked up like yeah. a really heavy smell, it you don't need to wash it very often anyway. But you might yeah, want to wash it, I... block it if it's like, if it's got points on it or if it's got some sort of feature that, you know, over time. Yeah. It, it, it I, don't, I don't really knit i crochet more but i want to get to crocheting garments i do a lot of like blankets and then i the groomy which don't need blocking but yeah. that's what i sort of that stopped me wondering what, how you look after it <coughs> yeah and i'm gonna, so. I'm gonna like my old ones from like four or five years ago they're gonna have to, i'm gonna wash them yeah um yeah 
What Thank you. <laughs> so there's the pink and the green, which are like oh all of my wicked dreams. Um paired with a black. So those two, I think. So the mohair yeah. tail go in with the green. Yeah. But I do have green fluff. Just in case. Um I know. I'm very yeah, excited. Absolutely. It yeah. kind of depends though, doesn't it, on like what actually happens in the in the shape of the shawl. Because we don't know where the mohair is gonna be. Like it might be better. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it might not be held double or And know. that's it. I just I because I don't know where it's going to be. I love the idea of the fluff. And I'm not using... I, it's it's mohair day, but I'm not using mohair. I'm using Suri. Um, yeah. Love an alpaca. And I think it's just so softer. Like, your colours are crazy. I'm a bit scared about knitting with that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> In the dark. But, yeah, that's fine. We'll We'll persevere. But it's all ready. I just need to take it out. My issue again, because I think like we're getting brioche <laughs> here, aren't we? And it's just then I'm hoping he won't be as cruel to do brioche and mohair at the same time. Has he ever Why? done? Isn't that really me? Like, because then it, obviously for mm -hmm. people like me that are going to make mistakes that are going to need to undo what they're doing, you're going to have to undo Suri. Oh well, <laughs> it's your choice. It's a you problem. I'm not sure that's very supportive. Yeah, you do, you do. I'm not sure that's. I've I'm also sure got the, I've it. also got these in the wings ready. Oh my god, you're beading again. I might be. I might be. Or I actually do have. Two packets of these orangey ones that came to oh. today. I know, right? So, yeah, we might use those instead. How are you getting on with your bead? Because you put beads on the, so you're doing your second, I mean, one, aren't you? There's beads in there. Yeah, but have you done all the beads now? Yes. Oh yeah, you're onto the last section. Yes. Oh, my God, you're so fast. No, I haven't done any in days. There's 900 stitches on a row. It takes me all night to do one row. <laughs> it's a big one. Right. We're on to the nose, people. Is anyone going to Natural History on Friday for Toft? No, I'm doing the uh, December one. Oh, is that the Darwin one? Yeah. So cute. I am. Um... No, I am going to Yarndale for the uh, the hand eye. Oh. Jealous. <laughs> Although I've probably bought my weight in yarn from Toff this year, so I think my bank and my husband would argue about me going to Yarndale just to buy more. <laughs> Nick Cool Woolens is happening to be at the show at Yarndale. So we may have had a conversation on the weekend <laughs> about possibly Nick popping along to the top stand. I think I've got a friend. I think my friend is going. See, I think he's basically... recently a Tofty converted. See, yeah, converted it, it... Tofty. But it's then whether um, my bank would disagree with me buying. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's um, it's going to be a case of find the community. Shame we couldn't have had a lucky dip online for those that couldn't make it. I guess, yeah, because I think a few people have said that on Instagram that, because I think Kerry said originally that that wouldn't work because like lots of the schemes have got imperfections in them. It's hard for them to list it 
But I guess if you can then see it in person, you can look at that and go, oh, there's a bit of a white bit there or like that the die hasn't taken the same way. But I guess if you sold, did them as like a solder scene mystery, you didn't know what you were going to get. And you kind of, it was on the listing of what you were getting. Then perhaps they could have done it that way. Years ago, I can remember they did a, some mystery bags at Christmas for a certain amount of money. All right. And there was like a book, some, uh, it was the dog book, hardback dog book, some, and loads of different skeins and like ed odds and ends of wool and a cloth bag. It all came in. They've oh, never right. done it since. <clears throat> well, there you go. Message on Instagram. Yeah, I've just talked myself into that, haven't I? <laughs> you have. Message Kerry. Tell her that that's what we, that's a good idea. Um. Yeah, so I, I, I'll, I'll see if I can get a mystery scheme. I think I've put the nose on first time without having to take it off, and I feel like, I know that's like maybe I overthink it. <laughs> um, and I'm just sitting there chatting, and I've just done it, and it's, it's gone on fine. I think I'm just gonna sew the end in, and then look at him. I'm that confident it's okay that I'm sewing the end in. Have you ever accidentally sewn the ears on and then looked at it and gone, that is well wonky, but you've already yeah. sewn the ends in, so you've had to cut it off? Legs is usually my problem. I I made a rhino a couple of weeks ago, and his horn, I sewed it on upside down. <laughs> I was like, oh, what am I doing? I had to cut it off and get a new bit of yarn to sew it back on again. No, I sometimes, I like, the leg will be twisted like that or something. Yeah. Like when, when he's running this way and when he's running that way. And, and I try to, I only sew them in one side. So I do one side, then I do the other side. Then I look at it and make sure, right, they're symmetrical, that's right. Then I'll go yeah, into clever. It and it's twisted. <laughs> that's too clever for me. I quite often give animals away with wonky ears because I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can't look at that anymore. No, I think because with the ear, like anything that's sewn flat, so the ears, the arms, the tail, the legs, I always try and just sew one in first because I'm notoriously bad for symmetry. <laughs> the amount of, and, and I've done them, I've sewn them all in, I've sewn the ends, I've clipped it all off. And then I look at that and go, what on earth? And then you're trying to pull the leg away from the body to work out where you can cut without breaking the body or the... So I now just basically do one side. I still make mistakes and I still end up looking at it going, yeah, I did it on the giant one. One of the legs was twisted. Although I did it with um, I did it with Martin's tail, everything also on it, ends also on it. And I finally finished and I was doing the, you know, 360 look. I realized that for some reason, uh, the tail was completely off to one side <clears throat> instead of anywhere near the middle. I don't even know how we were nowhere near the middle. We just call it quirky. <clears throat> Yeah. No, I, I, nature I, I, would intend them. Not everyone's tail is going to be in the middle of their back. I it's guess it's part of their <laughs> personality. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eyebrows. They should, be, they should be. They should be sisters, not twins. <laughs> don't need to be exact. 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 <laughs> I don't in the right them. vicinity. <laughs> it as long as, long as it's there, they're about. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say my together for 24 hours before I dare to cut them. Have really yeah, that's a clever way to do it. Side. <laughs> right. I tend, I tend to pin. I did Muriel the other day and I pinned her ears within an inch of their life. Oh, she's so cute. Because the ears were really, really tricky. She is one of my favourites, actually. She's really, really cute. She is very cute. And I like there's a little tag in there in the box. I don't know if it'll show up. Oh, That's yeah, there we go. Cute. Yeah, very cute. Yeah, I've, it's I've got adorable. her here. She's coming think... to Yarndale on uh, Saturday, so that's why I finished her. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Moodiel arrived. And then, oh, I ordered more wool for the stash blanket. Because I had most of the wool, but I didn't have enough silver. So I ordered wool for the stash blanket. And then like two days later, Muriel arrived. And then um, 
when I was at Unravel, I don't know if I said this last week, I was at Unravel and someone came to the stand and wanted to do show and tell and said, I ordered and I got a Logan moose patch. Have you got any Martin patches? And I said, no, I don't have any with me because I didn't think, I know basically I, I got sent my pack. I got, yeah, sent one for me. So I messaged Kara. She's like, that's amazing. We'll send you some. So then the following day, a couple of days later, sorry, I then had um, another Toft parcel with loads of Martin patches. But Mark texts me, he's like, you've had another Toft patch, angry face. Another Toft parcel, angry face. And I was like, it literally was like every other day. And I was like, I didn't, this this, this one, there was no money on that one. It's just patches. Um, so, yeah. And how, how come there wasn't, I did, I, <laughs> I need a Martin patch. You need a Martin patch? No. Don't know how I'll live without a Martin patch. I'll bring you one. You'll have to show me. You'll have to. You'll have to do some show and tell, though. That's the rule. You can't just be asking for the patch. You need to be showing. And you've done a top make, haven't you? Hey, what do you want to say? What have you got? Does that mean that if we meet you somewhere else at like um, Stitch Fest or something, you'll have patches and we'll be able to <laughs> actually get to meet you? Well, she didn't. I. I, I like. I, I wasn't told. I'm going to send you patches you can't give them away. I was told it's fine because I said, oh, can I give you the lady? I took the lady's address and I said, oh, I'll try and there we go. Look, it's Liz. Oh. You can have a Martin patch then. That was the <laughs> Natural History Museum last time. The legs aren't quite attached. They're, they're being secured with a giant pin. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared about putting them on in the right place and I want to put some wire in them first. So... Yeah. That's quite a good idea, though, to pin them so you can't lose them. Because right, you'll six months later you'll come and sew them up and then go, "Where was those legs gone?" And that's my bag of toft stuff. <clears throat> All the toft stuff is in there. Right, you can have a patch. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I did. Like I said to Kayle, I've got the lady's address. Can I send the address over? Can you send her a patch? Yeah, it's fine. We'll just send you a. Um, a stash of them so i'm guessing yes if i manage to get to a show and i remember to bring them i've got a little collection i don't know how many more there are but it's still a little bit surreal it's a lot surreal it it's is cool. surreal. it's cool but it, but this is why i got muriel because we were in the airbnb at unravel um and someone had messaged me to say, oh, have you seen there's a new make? There's a patch in there. And I think when I, by the time I'd seen that message and gone on Instagram, it was like less than 10% left. And I was like, oh my God, I need the patch. Um, so I stress bought a Muriel. This is my Toft collection. Remember we talked about it and I said I'd get it out to show you. Yeah. So I have Kerry the Chameleon. Yep. I have Alice the Zebra. Love her. Elizabeth the Dodo. Mm -hmm. Rare now. Liz has left. Emma the Bunny. Yep. Oh. Rachel the mm -hmm. Terrier. Uh, Gregor the T Rex. I love him so much. And Lou the Merino. Oh, nice. I know. I don't know what to do with them. I need to put them on a bag or something. <clears throat> Mine are just in a stack that I don't They're know what to do. Bag. I just don't know what to do with them because there's too many to go on the stash bag. I'm feeling like yeah. maybe some kind of blanket and I yeah. can sew them all, make little squares and then sew them all. And then I'm like, but I don't think I'd use the blanket because I'm worried that... Yeah. So they're still, they're still just in a pile all on their backing cards. Yeah. I have to decide what to do with them. I uh, cause I... some um, sharp intakes of breath, but I take mine off the backing cards and I've attached magnets to them all and I've got them all on a big magnetic board. Oh, oh that's, that's a, a great idea. idea. It's, it's literally down next to me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's literally on the floor next to me. It's because I've got my background blurred. It's not showing up very well. I've seen it. I'll stick it in my stories after this because you tagged me in it on Instagram. 
there. Oh, I, the word. Word. I was about to say I've stuck magnets on mine oh, as well, that's but mine very are on cool. the fridge. Oh, that's really cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Along with all of my children's artwork. <laughs> I love both of those ideas. That's a good idea. Need another board now, though. <laughs> yeah. The board get a bigger big fridge. Get a bigger fridge. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, because it, like it, it shows no signs of slowing down. I'm like, <clears throat> like when there was the um, the patch that you could only get from the shop in New Zealand, and I was like, "What are you doing? To you're going to kill me! I can't, I can't say to Mark, we're going on holiday to New Zealand." Um. And obviously, lucky that one we did, we weren't able to get. But I'm like, stop the patch. <laughs> like, I can't stop now. It was Muriel, if you haven't seen her. Oh. Very cute. Have you seen um, Shell from Shell Star Stitches? She's got like, um, like a Velcro fuzzy sort of clip that she bought. And you could just attach, you can just place the the patches on there and they like stick okay and she said she got it from america hmm. and she's got it she's got she's put it on her um youtube channel before <coughs> it's like um like paste of a ring binder sort of thing oh like double sided yeah like an old i like a <coughs> album or like a collector's album isn't it is that have i seen that yes yeah. Like that, it's like a fuzzy sort of, you know, like the display board, the fuzzy display board. That's sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, texture, I think. <laughs> well, after a successful three weeks, we now have three Martin bears. Very cool. <clears throat> then, yeah, there's the, cool. one, one to go in the middle for my Spanish doll beer collection. <laughs> How are you going to display them? Where are you going to I put have them? No idea. <laughs> you need a big like shadow box sort of frame somewhere. Put them all in there. Got a new like um, <laughs> shelf table in the hallway with like a little bowl and a candle. And Mark said maybe the large one can sit on the shelf like as people walk in. Um, I do like them sitting like that though, and especially then when you get the, the third one in Aaron sitting in. I do like them. I just need to work out where they can where they can go. Maybe you can go on the spare bed. Haven't you got the drawings as well that Kerry did to design it for you when you went to yeah. top? I think you should frame them and have them yeah, on a shelf they're... in the middle of the Oh that's a good idea. Yeah drawings. definitely frame those. That's very clever. Yeah. Because she said they should in the bin. She would like at the end end of the day she just like pick the papers up. And I was like, what are you doing with those? Went, oh, no, no, you're not going to throw them. Don't throw them. Keep them. I'll have them. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I've got those. They need to go in a frame. They definitely then, do. Yeah. She said um, exactly the same thing at Golden Ticket. She was like, before I throw this in the recycle bin, I'm like, yeah, it's mine, mine, mine. And she was oh, yeah, like, no, she'd no. done that for some previous ones and was like, and they were all like, well, I would have taken it home. So now she referenced this last week and I think we skirted over it and the conversation kind of went around. And I'm not sure, I we won't give a, too many spoilers away, but do you want to tell folks what what happened and what you did? Yeah, so I, I did a, an order last December in the Ed Stragavaganza sale thing. And I got an email from Beth saying I'd won a golden ticket. So in July, um, my friend and I went to Toft HQ and met not everybody. We didn't meet everybody because there was big workings going on in part of the building that we weren't allowed to be involved in. Um, but Kerry met us at the door um, and welcomed us in and we got a, we got a tour. Uh, he has designed a new animal for the menagerie um using my ideas and we had a chat and crochet session with Kerry so I've got a prototype that is half made by me my friend and Kerry um sitting on my bookshelf downstairs and then we also got to hand dye our own yarn um, oh I didn't know about that bit yeah um so we got one that we hand dyed for the creation so we'll have a very unique version that's made with hand dyed 
um, and then just let us make one with um, any colours that we wanted. And the dye club was all drying and we're like, oh, we want some of those colours, please. Um, That's so fair. We've just done, um, and my friend has done Toft, but wasn't a Tofty. <laughs> And she's now a tofty. And we, um, we've done Graham the Octopus together in our uh, matching hand eyes. And uh, and she's made herself a prototype. And then we're just waiting for Tash. Tash and Rachel currently doing the testing and the um, pattern checking. And then we get yep. an email yep. of that. Um, and I'll get sent a full kit once it's all finalised yep. and ready to go on sale. For the new Edge Travaganza. Um, going to go on sale in, is it November? I think so, very end, just before the, the sale starts. Um, but so, yeah, so you can't, you can see there's a uh, here, just behind Asta. You can just make out there's a line coming down. That's my picture, but you can't see the creation because oh. the camera angle. But mine's currently there in front of some other top makes ready to be officially framed um because yes. i've decided my kit is just being framed uh, it's just yeah all yeah. <laughs> oh, the postcard's gonna just be framed or something. very cool can you tell us without giving a spoiler can you tell us the shape is like a standard ed's animal it's standard, like a bit yeah um a bird oh Ooh. but um she said she quite enjoyed it because a lot of the previous golden ticket, they're not standard form. Like Brian and the whale is not a standard form. Yeah. So when she's figuring it out as part of the session, she has to just sit and concentrate really hard and do all the thinking. But because mine uses various aspects of bird standard forms, um, we did a tension square while she literally typed up the pattern in about 10 minutes. And then we all sat <laughs> and, um, cause she's memorized. So it was like, so it's that bit from that bond and that from that. And she literally just put it all down. And then <clears throat> because she was also very familiar with that, um, she could join in the, the crochet and chat that was going on while we worked on other aspects. Yeah, and that was the same that was like in my video because it was a standard form. They said to me, "Right, you start with the legs. We'll give Tash the body, and I'll do the head." And what's that audio? They've, uh, I think they've had someone who's come before who's not really done crochet, um, because they've had to just kind of sit and wash while Tash and Kerry oh, okay. have done things. Yeah. Um. So they were very pleased when we came in. I'm like, "Yep, yeah, I do Dolls Club. I've got pretty much every book, but the monster book so far, and." Uh, um, and you know what you want to do yeah so um, it was yeah it's got colour changes but not too complex um, no loop stitch but we do have embroidery oh so, you've um, thrown the kitchen sink at it yeah we had fun um, so yeah no it was it was fab and Emma kept us company all day as well that sounds really cool because the William Morris bird is one of my favourite birds we've done. It's so that's, gorgeous. That's kind of, as soon as I was like, yes, because I like that bird, we're having that. <laughs> I haven't made Morris yet, but it is on my kind of list. I kind of want to do a couple more birds. I'm a bit more familiar yeah. with some of the other features. I mean, I've done all the Easter ones and I've Oh, I think we've lost it. Oh, you're back. Oh, sorry. You, I said, fro I you, do you froze for 10 seconds when you said you, that you'd done the Easter bird, I think. Oh, yeah, I've just got a message saying my connection's unstable. Yeah, I've done um, I've done all the Easter birds and Asta, but yeah. um, the Easter birds are sometimes a bit special, so I'd like to do a couple more of the standard ones before I do Morris. Yeah. Um, well, that's but, yeah. very exciting. Slightly disappointed though. The weather was not as good as when you've gone. Oh. So no, <laughs> while we were there, which happened last year, they actually saw a live Korea being born. Oh. Which is a beautiful sunny day. Yeah. And it, it kept trying to rain, so all the pregnant women were, were hiding out there. 
car. Yeah, Kerry said it's crazy that li- literally they'll wake up in the morning and it's raining. They're like, right, no babies today. And they yeah. won't. No, because in um, South America, where they're from, if it's cold, the baby will die. Mm. So she said it's it's interesting that the, they're having a lot of the uh, pregnant mums, the pregnancy is going over while they're waiting for a nice sunny day in the British summer to <laughs> have them. But we had, there was some who were just like a couple of days or a couple of weeks old. So we did see some Kriya. Oh, there we go. Cool. But, uh, oh, well, that's very exciting. Thank you for sharing. Mm-hmm. It's um, just amazing how it co- almost comes together that quickly. Yeah. No, it was. So we had most of the bird finished before we left. Yeah. Things were paused while autumn and everything were finalised and released and magazine shoots and now they're just finalising colour choices just once and for all. I'll probably have a a mass variety of them once the pattern has been finalised, I think, because I've come away and gone, so that's one colourway, but we could also (laughs) do, so that that could be that one and that could be that one. Did you Um, get to choose any of the new colours? Um, potentially, um, not new new colours. No, they were oh, they were keeping some it. secrets. I saw Dye Club, and I knew about um conservationists before it came out. But um, it is um, nice to be there, and then sometimes you're just like, I don't want to see the secrets, but then I yeah, can't. she asked, how many do you want to see? And I'm like, I don't want anything about Advent. Yes. Don't tell me anything about Advent. I, I never get asked now. She's just like, you can't go there. No, 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 no. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Well, they, they kept us, they clearly had stuff going off at the other their end. So we were just pretty much based the big table. And then obviously we went in um, Jess's die bit. Yeah. Um, something was being photog- uh, photographed while we were there. But uh, Andrew was pretty good at um, blocking the view while we were walking through. So, nothing to see here, nothing to see. <laughs> yeah. So it was it was a creature of some sort that was being photog- uh, photographed. Um, and Emma was working on stuff from the magazine. Um, yeah. The finishing touches. So I already came away with, right, I want to buy the magazine. I'm making that, that, and that. Yeah. I'm loving my sampler blanket from the magazine. Yeah. I bet it, it grows really quickly because it's only like six rows and then you're on to the next it's obviously the rounds are getting slightly longer but it is still actually quite a quick and it's quite addictive then it's like oh i'll just do one more one more section i think it's not because it's so bored no yeah never bored debbie but i've got one more section i think um and then i finished round four so I figure I'm going to try and do that one. I might do that tonight, actually. <clears throat> I'll do that one more section. It's bobbles, which are just slow going. Um, so I think I'll do that section, and then I can I can pause it then while I th- worry about mystery knit along. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm currently contemplating going bigger. I said to Mark, like I might need to get some more yarn. There's some yarns like some of the colors, like the creams and some of the browns. I've got enough of that I can probably do another section. It just depends on where I am colour placement. Like, I might need to get a couple of extra greys or something. But, um, yeah, I really do like it. I like the, um, I mean, you've got the variety. So you can do a couple of panels and not feel bored because they're all different. Yeah. Actually, even the new the new stitches or the stitches that were new to me, after you'd done just one or two, two rows of them, it was the, into the rhythm. So you had the the soothing effect that you get sometimes with crochet uh, quite nicely. I didn't enjoy the basket weave. Oh, I I've f- done I've done an entire uh, uh, age four to five cardigan and basket weave. So um, I feel like because the waffle stitch, I feel like once you've done the first row, it's almost like you've done the setup row. You know then when you're doing your front post, back post. Whereas the basket weave, the stitches they feel a little bit shorter and. It was hard. And then there were times I would forget then. And I ended up going back to the beginning of going, 
back front, back front, back front, back front, trying to work out where my three and then trying to work out where my placement was. And so I haven't been enjoying that one, but the rest of it, yeah. The Lo- colours look lovely together. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Really Mark nice. suggested neutrals. Beautiful. I wasn't convinced because I was like, are you sure you don't want any blue? No <laughs> yellow? Um, beautiful. Now, now I look at it, I do, yeah, I love the neutrals. And actually it does go well with... He's on a pallet. So yeah, one more round on that one, I think. And then we'll get ready for October. I've um, finished the orange section of the show um, in Martin Bear. Yeah. And immediately cast on the hat. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, I've also just sorted out all the yarn to do the um, camp set. Yep. Because I'm having an autumn display of Martin Bear, pumpkins, the camp set, and the s'mores, I think, out. Oh, that's think. very cool. At school? Yeah. But we've we've got a table that the, is under the TV and just has Xbox stuff on. So I'm like, well, actually, no, I'm going to have this half, and this half is going to be a seasonal thing of <laughs> stuff I've made so that I can then look at, and it's pretty. Yeah, that's me with the seasonal because I'm still in the, oh, have I got time to make pumpkins now and put like pumpkins out? And that was my, I'm going to make a pumpkin a month and I've not made a pumpkin a month. Yeah, I'll probably finish the autumn display and it'll be time to switch it to Christmas. Yeah. But at least then I'll have enjoyed making it during autumn and it will be ready to display properly yeah. next autumn. Because I want to make a, oh, maybe I could start. No, I need to do the next round on the, see, I was like, oh, maybe I could start the large head elf. Because I want that for Christmas, but no, he needs to stay in a box for the time being. Because when until November, yeah, it's like once it's out, that's it. And I feel like I've got a few things that I want to try and finish before third of October. Mystery knit along. So when I get the crochet goes into hibernation for a month, then and it's all about the knitting. But then in December, it's more or less all about the crochet. All about the crochet. And it's quite nice. So from a YouTube perspective, it's like October now, right? It's all about the knitters. We're all in we're all on the shawl, all cheering on. And then we get to December and then it's all about crochet and it's all about the advent. So hopefully we have a bit of a mix of knit and crochet. And I'll be back. I've got quite a lot of knitting that I have done, as well as all the crochet animals. So normal service will be resumed. So I'm going to do a normal video next Monday, um, which I'll record on the weekend after natural history. And then, yeah, shawl cast on, 3rd of October. Is anyone else joining in? Are you all diehard crocheters or is any knitters doing the the mystery shawl? I um, can't this year. I was tempted after watching, I think, about three years of your um, <laughs> Vlogtobers. I was like, you know what? I might actually give it a go next year. Um, And then it's come to this year and I'm working my way through a autumn colour collection of all the different knitwear accessories from that book with the mitts and the hat and the yeah, yeah. um and I've had a thing this year where I've done lots of let's start this and then before the end of the month it's finish welcome to living with me <laughs> this year other than the odd animal I have I have created I did Calypso and I've done Graham and obviously Martin, but I'm trying to finish something for me that's for me and not just a, a tough thing. See, when, your bird, when your bird comes out, you're going to need to do the bird. Yep. In... I'm going to need to do a bird in the tough yarn. Every and size. In the dye. Yep. <gasps> imagine a chunky bird. Can you imagine the knobbly knees? Knobbly. They'll be the easiest thing to do, though, those knobbly knees. They'll be terrifying and fine. Oh. <laughs> yeah i've come up with a i've come up with a deal um holly is comet moth on instagram yeah. who does the tiny 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 we've come up with a deal that she's going to crochet me a mini mini martin and i'm going to knit her the hat from the magazine she said she can knit but she struggles with tension and I've said, having done fine, Martin, I have absolutely no intention of trying to go any smaller. Um, so we are, we're not at Ali Pali together on the same day. I think Holly's there the day before I am. So um, 
the toff stand is going to facilitate oh my god look at that abigail that's insane what size hook was that so this is part 0.25 and part 0.5 mil hook with three strands or two strands of embroidery thread so there's color change in there as well that's all crocheted in that's not embroidered on um he's my little labor of love but his knobbly knees See, like they, it literally killed me <laughs> look so amazing they're and i so just know i haven't got that. the patience they're so gorgeous i know and but it's like it takes about four times as long as double yeah. it <laughs> but i think like that one's really small and then when i see the little mini mini that one's gonna look like a giant um so yeah so i'm gonna make that hat for Holly. Yeah, that's the hat I've just cast on. But instead of doing it in greens, I'm doing it in orange, yellow, brown, and cream. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, so I'm going to, I think Holly's going to drop the yarn off at the stall. And then I'm going to knit it. And then uh, we're going to do an exchange. And I'm going to get a teeny tiny. So Holly, if you do watch this back, thank you very much. But I messaged her and I was like, hi. <laughs> Can I pay? Maybe, maybe I need to ask mini Instagram mini. if someone will make me a fine one. When yeah, I can. Like, can I pay you to make me a mini mini? She went, no, but you can knit me a hat in return because I haven't got the patience and the tension. I was like, deal. That's like a weekend. Um, that's like a perfect Sunday. Just cast on early morning. Have it done. So yeah, then that'll be the fifth Martin. And I don't think there's any other size that I did contemplate whether I could go chunky, chunky. And then you'd like you said, I have to start paying rent then. I feel like we're getting too big then in size. No, you've got to make like a six foot one, like the big Alice. <laughs> I'm not sure Mark would be down with that. But um, yeah, I do really love it. Well, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to, when the pattern arrives, I'm going to try it in the new colorway idea that I have. Right. So um, Kerry's going to be there, at, obviously, for Darwin. So she's already yeah. expecting me to turn up with, I don't know how many um, of these birds. <coughs> oh, look at all these versions I, I made. I'm contemplating taking these with me on Friday to Natural History. I think that, I think she'll be expecting it. <laughs> to put them in my bag. There'll be nothing, there'll be no room for anything else in my bag. Like, come on, you. Someone said get, like, a little baby pusk. It was me. You need a baby Oh, was it you? Was it you, you last week? I know carrier. someone said about, yeah. I want photographic photographic evidence. <laughs> that could definitely be a fun idea. We'll see. Or even like Builder Bear, you can get those rucksacks at Builder Bear that the legs stick out of. You can have one of those. You could that's probably what I was fashion a baby carrier out of one of your shawls. Yeah, probably. That's true. Yeah. We will see. But yeah, I think I probably will take them with me. I'm going to try and get the Aaron one done. It's all done. I think it just it just needs sewing up. Um, so I'll try and get that done this week. But um, I'm going to wrap this up in a bit. We've got a family. We're going to do a um, a family call with everyone now. So um, going to go and join another call. Um, but yeah. So thank you, folks. You most of you have been here every week. So it's been super lovely to just catch up and sit and crochet. Look, there's another Martin Bear and a little Jesse Raccoon and Sarah's. I met Sarah's Martin Bear in person and it's been so nice to see everyone and just sit down and crochet for a bit. I definitely think we can try and do this again. Um, maybe once a month or every six weeks or so, we'll do a little crochet catch up. It's been really lovely to just meet people and chat and share some progress you've kept me company while i've made all my martins so yeah it's been really lovely so thank you very much for everyone for joining um so yeah hopefully i will see some of you at shows in the future see some of you soon but keep chatting on instagram say hi and tag me share me in your makes but thank you very much for joining thank you for organizing it. yeah it's thank you fun. for hosting no yeah. you're very welcome it's been fun right speak to you all soon bye everyone bye, bye.